Hello, this is Josh Rob from Hicks and Zerker Capital Management bringing you the 2017 February Economic Update. In this month's video, we'll discuss some of the major headlines that influenced markets in January and provide insights into what these developments could mean for you as an investor. Do you remember where you were this time last year? In January 2016, the markets were in a slide and filled with volatility. In fact, fears about China's economy contributed to the S&P 500 and the Dow experiencing their worst ever five-day beginning of a year. However, this year in 2017, it is off to a different start. This January, we saw the three major domestic indexes reach record highs and the Dow surpassed 20,000 for the first time ever. We also learned in January that personal income increased by 0.3% for December, which is slightly be below expectations, but it was enough to push the income up 3.5% for the full year. And retail sales increased by 0.6% for December, ending up 4.1% for the past year. Right now, we are also well into corporate earnings season, and many reports are beating expectations. Speaking of corporations, uh, Harley-Davidson, they sell motorcycles. Uh, do you know why motorcycles have a hard time making up a hill? It's because they're too tired. As of January 31st, blended earnings were up 7.1% in the fourth quarter, and revenue increased approximately 4.2%. Despite this positive data, the economy still has opportunities to improve. In January, we learned that the gross domestic product lagged in the fourth quarter of 2016, showing 1.9% growth compared to the third quarter's 3.5% measure. As of this first estimate, real GDP increased by a total of only 1.6% for the full 2016. If you look more deeply at the numbers, however, you will see that many aspects of the economy grew in the fourth quarter, including household purchases, business equipment spending, and inventory accumulation. Instead, the lagging numbers showed a widespread slowdown. It was just one area that was really responsible for the decrease of growth, and that was net exports. In the fourth quarter, we saw a jump in imports and a decline in exports, which combined to pull growth down by a total of 1.7%. That's the biggest drag since 2010. Trade is an incredibly important part of our economy, as the most recent GDP report shows. Any change in the balance between imports and exports can affect growth. In fact, without the decline in the net exports, fourth quarter GDP could have beaten the third quarter measures. As you are surely aware, we are currently in the middle of a hotly debated, headline-grabbing political environment, and some of the key conversations that are going on will impact trade. From taxing Mexican imports to restricting visitors from certain countries, these new policies and the reactions that could affect the nations could change the balance between America's imports and exports, and thus the economy. Of course, we are not in politics. We are financial professionals. Although we will pay attention to new developments, we will focus on investments and the fundamentals behind the, the investments and the economy. We will continue to look for the right investments for our clients. And as always, if you have any questions or would like to reach out to us, please contact us at 419-425-2400 or visit our website, hzcapital.com. By the way, we are celebrating our 15th year anniversary this year, and we are looking forward to doing that with our clients. And so please keep an eye out for a special event notification and some details on how we plan on celebrating that with you.